If you have a lucky number, and if it happens to be 12, today is certainly your day. December 12, 2012. It's a triple 12 that won't re be repeated again for almost a century, so a whole lot of people are taking advantage of it, hoping luck is on their side. Here's Christina Stevens. One true love for now and evermore. I do. Ella Villan and Marvin Magida My just love. knew that today My was love. the day for their big day. I just said, 12, 12, 12, let's do it. After three kids, we planted <laughs> because <laughs> it's lucky number <laughs> for me. But getting in on such a special date was no small feat. For a Wednesday, we're probably four times busier than we would usually be. Across the country and the globe, couples are hoping this day will be auspicious. In Vegas, the weddings started at midnight. We're getting married on 12, 12, 12 at 12, 12. And kept on going and going all day long. While 120 couples took part in a mass wedding in Vietnam. Newlyweds aren't the only ones looking for good fortune. Hospitals around the world are reporting an increase of scheduled deliveries for the last triple date of the century. From the very young to the very old, the number 12 proved lucky for Florence Turpin. Born on 12-12-1912, she turned 100 today, but no gifts required. No, not at my age. <laughs> for some, today has religious significance, others numerological or even astrological. Psychic Jackie Lewis says it means the world is going into a new level of consciousness. It's the beginning of a new era, basically. While it'll be nearly nine decades before there's another triplet number, there is one more significant date coming up quickly. December 21st marks the end of the Mayan calendar, and according to some, the end of the world. But Vlad and Megida aren't buying that. They're counting on a long and happy future together. A triple 12. <laughs> I guess um, it's a lucky day for everybody. And they say with this date, it's pretty much a guarantee neither of them will ever forget their anniversary. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.